is here. Michael Oliver is one of two English referees who will officiate at the Euros. Of course, Anthony Taylor is the other. I wonder what Mourinho thinks of that. Anthony Taylor Crazy. is one of two English referees and working on VAR. If I'm honest, we don't have no referees that should be nowhere near international big tournaments. They need to all be retrained. Stuart Atwell. Stuart Atwell will uh, be working on VAR duty at the Euros come the summer. Well, in, in a few I always relate referees, officials to police because they are the enforcers of rules, i.e. the police are enforcers of laws. And, you know, the football laws are enforced by the officials. Same God damn thing. Weeks from now, oh. and of course, England in the Euros, Scotland in the Euros, uh, the, the two referees, Anthony Taylor and Michael Oliver, and Stuart Atwell I tell you on what, VAR. We don't want to you know what's crazy is Stuart Atwell is on VAR. That means England's going to win. England's going to win. Whatever he's in VAR, England's going to win, innit? This is embarrassing. How are you promoting someone who's just in shit? You want more, you want more stress, more problems for him. You don't promote someone that's in shit. I watch a lot of them audit videos when police do madness. And then it takes like years or maybe a couple years for it to go to court and it to get sorted. All between that, them and they get promoted to captain sergeants and shit. How is that possible? How is that possible? See how, how quick it is. When someone accuses a player of something, bam, out of here. You're suspended until we know Wagwan. But when it's the referees, it's all right. You can do, you can get bigger jobs. You get more Premier League games. You can get to be in the World Cup in the Euros. You can do all that. How? You haven't figured out if this person's a joke yet. Stuart Atwell on VAR, if Greece are playing, because Maranakis will spontaneously combust, won't he? <laughs> that's, that's, a that's a great observation. If you don't know, he's talking about the forest owner. And I would say the same. If I was the forest owner, I don't want that man being on VAR for my country, even though he doesn't own... It's not like he owns the Greek FA or anything, so there's not much he can do. But with his club, he can do what he wants. Um, one has to think, though, Simon. Obviously, logic tells me that Stuart Atwell has been chosen because he's pretty darn good when it comes to operating in the VAR truck. Or maybe he's the best of a bad bunch by other people. Are you taking the piss? See how he, see how Jim just said that. Knowing Wagwan, how can you say that? How can you say that? Knowing what's happening right now, this week, last weekend, whatever you want to call it, it's embarrassing. Jim is an embarrassment. People's qualification. Um, look, we all have our view on the decisions. No one can say that all three of those decisions covered the VAR official in glory, certainly not the third one. The other two we can debate. And well, soon as, yeah. yeah, soon as soon as we'll have his views, but Danny Murphy had another view, so there shows you the subjectivity of it all. Right. But the third one, I think everyone's alighted upon that that should have been a penalty. And so when we talk about competency, this argument should be about competency. What Nottingham Forest have made it about is about corruption. Well, I mean, for those who don't know, Stuart Atwell was on VAR duty at the weekend in that game at Goodison, which Everton won against Nottingham Forest. Since then, there has been an enormous fallout from that match because uh, Forest had, in their eyes, three legitimate penalty claims all turned down. And uh, they insist that Stuart Atwell is a Luton fan and flagged that up before the game was played. But it's our understanding, and we have been at pains to stress this, even though their um, referee analyst, Mark Clattenburg, uh, got in touch with Howard Webb prior to the game, it's our understanding here, and I said it yesterday and I'll say it again today, Forrest did not ask for Atwell to be removed from the fixture as they have. You're not allowed to. That's what I've heard, is you're not allowed to ask for that. So that's why they worded what they said perfectly. You get me? Yo, your brother there that you're putting in the truck, that is a Luton fan, isn't it? As soon as someone says that, who's about to have a game, you go to yourself, look at these man here. They're already starting a thing, but light work. All right, cool. Switch it. We go switch it so they can't bring that up again. Simple. It's as simple as that. You don't have... If it don't matter what sport it is, it don't matter what time the sport is, 
They're meant to have subs, right? Because if the refs get injured, there's someone else to come take on, right? You get me? There's someone else to come. You mean to tell me the whole of St. George's Park, because that's where the van is, isn't it? It's not literally outside the stadium, or is it? Who knows? Who knows? But as far as I know, it's meant to be at St. George's, right? You mean to tell me what? There's only there's only one dude there. There's only one dude to work. There should be bagger man up there. There should be a bag of refs up there just in case shit goes left. You never know what can happen in life. So you need to have people backed up. You know what I mean? They say, this guy here is a Luton fan. All you do is go, you know what? Let's change that. Let's change that real quick. Boom. Done. Switch. Get another guy. Tell him to come out the room and go and get another ref. Simple. Simple. And whoever he gets, tell them we get him overtime for, for making them switch up so late. Sorry. You know what I mean? Give you a bit of overtime, a bit more P. Done. It's not hard. I don't know why this was this shouldn't have been a thing. This shouldn't have been a thing. What sport do you know where they will just run with it? After it being brought up, because you know they're going to bring it up again because you didn't do anything. If it comes to the Olympics, 100 meters, athletes walk out and be like, yo. That's my my ex's dad right there with the gun. He can't be the dude with the gun. Can't be. Or he can't be the ref that flags up if I if I full start. No, we can't have that. He don't like me. I cheated on his daughter. We can't have this here. You know what I mean? It's not hard. A boxer, a boxer in, in the changing room finds out that, I don't know, the brother of his ex is the ref like we can't have this or, or is a cousin to the opposition you can't have this you just change it you get me the man who rings the bell or the one of the judges is so-and-so's granddad like no we can't have that that has to go you've got an alliance with the other side it doesn't matter how lightweight it is it doesn't matter it could be you went to school with them you know what i mean it could be as simple as you went to school with them. How we know you lot ain't do a ting in school. It don't even matter what the sex is. How we know you two ain't do a ting in school and so-and-so still's got candle burning for man. Nah, blood. You got to fix all of that. You can't have it. And the reason why, and and the PG, la, 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 them man there, they already know because when their refs come in, when they first get in their referees, what they make them do, tell us who you support. Why are you asking that question if this don't matter? If it, uh, it don't matter, they're not going to be biased anyway. They could, what, why, why? It makes no goddamn sense. That referee who just killed himself in a Simon interview, where he said he didn't want to put his friend under pressure with that kind of bullshit, shows you what these men are on, shows you what time they are on. We can't have this. You can't have this. You wouldn't have that ref. I think he supports Hartlepool. You can't have them man there sub refereeing the team that they support. Die hard. You see him in the stands going crazy for his team. There's a reason why he could never ref that. Could never be linesman. Could never be VAR for that. Well, I don't think they have VAR that low down. But you know what I'm saying? There's reasons. These people are insane, man. Or oh, they're just slow. You get me? You need to go and watch this video because there's a phone call from a, a Forest fan who holds his own up against Simon. You get me? I don't want to play all of it because it's, it's just a long video. I want to get to my last video reaction, which is Jamie O'Hara slams Jason Cundy because he, he's he got a different view on Wagwan Tuesday evening. He's got a different view. It's crazy. I ain't watched the video, so I want to hear what he's got to say. It was all the title. So we shall see. Here we go, man. We've got to wrap this up. Let's get it. Five Out Jungle is another place. Five Eight Seven TV, other lick. Yeah, real TV, reality TV. Five Eight Seven Bar Level. Five Out Jungle is here. Godfather. See that one. What's up, people? Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel.